Hey guys, so we have quite an interesting topic to chat about today. Today we are just, I'm just going to be sharing some stories with you guys today, some ball busting stories. So I had to do a lot of research for this and um, still I feel like my research is incomplete so there may need to be a part two. This one is for my boy MB. Um, Anyway, I'm going to do the best I can, so stay tuned. Give me just a moment. I will be right with you for those ball busting. Very exciting stories. <laughs> so they say that I'm a feminist. Among opinionated men in this speak easy. Okay, guys. Okay. I just have two stories, and um, a little, you know, a little scenario we want to talk about. Um, so, just work with me here, okay? Go with me, move with me on this. Close your eyes, think about this, okay? So, we're in a space. It's an arena, okay? And in this arena. We're in an arena, and there is a ball busting marathon going on, okay? Between the girls and the guys, okay? Everyone's in the crowd, they're cheering. Woo, woo, woo! Oh my gosh, get a ball busting, ball busting, ball busting! Let's do it, okay? Question nuts, question nuts, king, queen, right? Because I'm there busting nuts, right? <laughs> Either way, there's a guy, there's a girl, she's wearing her tiny little shorts and her, you know, tube top, and, you know, her boobs are all popping out, and, you know, they're, she's gorgeous, you know? And she's walking in her tall stiletto heels, and there's a guy standing over in the corner, and he's waiting. And, and, and his coach is talking to him and telling him, you can do this, you can do this. Those nuts are hard. They can take it. They can take any punch, any hit, any knock, anything. They can take it. Whatever she gives you, you can, you can do it, okay? You can take it, okay? And so now he's standing up. He comes toward the girl, and they're like, okay, it's time to go, all right? And my girl, she reaches back, and she balls her fist. And she puts a punch, she pretends to punch him in the nuts, and he flinches, and she goes, don't flinch, bitch! And he's like, oh my god, oh my gosh, I can do it! And her, his coach is like, come on, you can do this, don't book out now! And the crowd is going absolutely wild, and they're like, bust his nuts, bust his nuts! And she turns, and she runs around the ring, and then she runs toward him, one leg up, and kicks him in the nuts. And he grabs his nuts, and he falls backwards. She's got him. And she bent over and she fits him down. And she rains those punches down in those nuts. And she gets her, her shoe, the sole of her foot in her heels. And she starts pressing on those nuts. And she presses down on them with the one foot. And she stands on them one foot. And she does a ballet move up in the air. Full pressure, full body weight on him but she plants one heel into his nut and he screams and she goes don't scream now punk i am not done with you yet she turns around and she jumps off of his nut and stoops down pops up and jumps on his nuts pummel those nuts with both of her feet and he just starts squealing and grabbing at his nuts and he's wearing tiny little shorts mind you and his coach is telling him come on get out of there get out Pull him out of the ring, and he's standing in his little corner. He's got his mouthpiece in, and he's sweating, and he's spinning. And the coach is like, "You can do this. You have it. You can do this. You didn't come here to fail." And he's like, "I can do this. I can do this." And she's like, "Come on, punk. I'm ready for you. All right." And her tight little boosty and her boobs popping. And he's wearing these tiny little shorts. And as he gets up and goes to walk toward her, one ball falls out of his tiny little shorts. And she walks toward him, and she gets down her on her knees, and she, and she bites at those nuts, and he's like, ah, oh my god, and he has to leave the ring again, and his coach is, you are not leaving, you stay in there, and you take it, because you deserve it, you don't punk out on me now, and he runs back in the ring, and his ball is hanging out of his shorts, just dangling and you know she's punching at those balls as if they were like a, a punching ball and 
spits flying, uh, tears are falling out of his eyes, but secretly he's enjoying it. And she rushes back and she stands on top of the wires that are surrounding the court and she jumps down and she pummels him and starts kneading him in the groin area. Just knee him, knee him, knee him in the groin and his little balls that are hanging out of his shorts are just flapping, flapping up and down, up and down and she's kneeing him in the groin area and he's in tears and she's grabbing at his balls and squeezing at his balls and they're like, anything goes! The crowd's like, anything goes! Anything goes! Get those nuts! And she's getting those nuts, honey. She's squeezing them with her hands. She's punching them. She's elbowing those nuts. She's kicking him in the groin area with her feet. She's kneeing him in the groin area and he's just taking it. And his coach is like, you can do this! You can do this! You can do this! And he's like, I can do this! And she's like, I can do this! And she runs and bounces off of the what are those ropes cords whatever that are surrounding the square ring she throws herself onto them and bounces off and body slams him again and he is down and she turns around and she sits on his groin area and she starts jumping up and down and bouncing bouncing on his groin bouncing on his groin and he's enjoying it but he is crying honey because he's in pain but he's still having so much pleasure and she's getting him she is pummeling him and she calls her friend to come and tag team tag team and the crowd's going tag team tag team and her friend her little girlfriend comes in there in her thong and her heels and she is punching him in the nuts and she's got his his, his little ball in her mouth and she's biting at them. So the crowd is going wild. And you know, she decided after she tags him, she tag teams him and they're grabbing at one nut each and pulling at a nut and biting on his penis and punching at his penis and scratching at him like a cat, ripping away at him to dress like, Aah! she's just scratching at his balls area and he is screaming and the crowd is going wild. And his coach is like, stay in there, you've got this, you've got There's a little area, it's a smooth area. Sometimes it feels like there's a wire or it feels like there's a snake inside of it. If you lick and suck with pressure on that area, you can drive it. Just a little 
little tip. Just letting you guys know. So, remember that. Take that with you. But anyway, she kicks him in that area. And he didn't expect it, so he flinches and falls forward. And now this dude is on the ground. And he's laying on his back. And his whole penis area, penis nut sack area is exposed. And he's got a rather large penis. Does it hurt more if your penis is large if you get attacked in the penis as opposed to the nuts? And you have a large penis, does that hurt more as opposed to if you have a small penis? I don't know. Like I said before, guys, I don't have a penis. So I don't know. But she is kicking him and stomping him in the penile region with her shoes, right? And then she stands on top of his actual nut sack and puts all of her weight on it. Oh god, there are cops. So she um he's on the ground. And then at one point, what I thought was interesting, she takes her feet and she stops him. His there his his penis is okay, flipped back, okay, on his his stomach area, his tummy area, and his, you know, his ball sack is, of course, directly under it. I mean, so where else would it be, right? But she gets her one foot, and she stumps on the balls with her one foot. Now, his balls are engorged, like they're filled, like he hasn't had sex, and they're filled with sperm or something. They are full, honey. Like, they are plump, like two huge grapes, right? And so you can see how squashed they look when she stumped them like you could see the pressure on them but what i thought was interesting was that when she stumped down on the nuts the penis flipped forward as if i don't know i mean it's all connected but i just found that really interesting so anyway there was another story Remember when I told you guys about, we were talking about how to squash nuts, right? And I was telling you that there is no way to get a guy at an ankle, you know, at a, unless he's some type of really weird contortionist, to get him at an angle where he can be on the actual floor. Well, you know what? There is a way. I was thinking the other way as if, you know, standing straight up and, you know, his you know, nuts on the floor, penis on top, like from this angle. But there is a way to get a guy laying on the floor and his nuts and penis on the floor. So if he lays to the side like this, right, if he lays to the side, then his penis can rest on the floor. You see where I'm going with this? So sideways motion, penis on the floor. <gasps> my gosh okay so try that <laughs> all right but no in this essence i had mentioned that you would need to put the penis on a table so that you can lay it flat so you can be able to have your way with it and this is what she did so dude is in a kneeling position is he in a kneeling position and they have a little table right this little square table is a short one right so that it is exactly directly underneath his nuts right and so his nuts and penis are resting on the table right and she has these thick stiletto heels on so they're thick in the um at the front they they're like stripper heels if you know what i mean right so they are are real clunky at the front and they have really tall heels and these are really hard heels so what she's doing is and you know this dude has some pretty big nuts as well i guess you know if your nuts aren't nice and big and voluptuous like boobs right then you know how much satisfaction can you get out of them if they're already soft and soggy right so no they were engorged just like the other guys and she's got them on the table right and she is stepping on them with her heels and so she's applying pressure gradually on the nuts area and you could see that they're being squashed and i can hear him he's not saying much but he's He's making little noises because, you know, he is turned on, but it also, I assume that it must also hurt. And she's now standing and stomping, stomping, stomping on his nuts while they are resting on this short black table. And then she takes her shoes off 
and now she's you know as if you have her her toes or fingers she's grabbing at his penis region and his nut sack region that must feel interesting if you put your feet on them right and then try to get a large amount of them underneath your toes as if you were grabbing them with your toes your toes or fingers right so anyway this is what she was doing and um, his his nuts are all squished up underneath and in between her toes and now she's stomping on them and she's jumping on them on the table funny enough that table could withstand a lot of weight and action hello so um yeah she was just squashing down on his nuts and I thought that was so interesting because this is something that we had literally just talked about so guys, um, what I wanted to say was, um, you know, I think cool, no, his name wasn't cool. He said, he said cool. He asked me, well, you asked if I answer, um, all of my requests and yes, I do. Um, I do see your comments, um, guys, but I just, I'm so busy sometimes I tend not to be able to answer to respond to my comments and I love to be able to chit chat with you guys you know you're like my family I know some of you call yourselves my fans but I consider to you be like I consider you to be like friends um, we're one big ball busting family I noticed that there are other people here on YouTube that talk about the same topic and you guys you know also uh, love those videos and um, you know, I don't know why I thought I was so original, <laughs> but I don't know why I thought I was the only chick on YouTube talking about ball busting, but I'm not. Um, so um, I'm happy to be a part of the ball busting family, right? Um, I've watched several of those videos during my research, and I'm not being a hater at all. I guess maybe I'm just more energetic. Some I've seen some of these videos and they talk about, you know, ball busting. They're so subtle and so gentle and so mild and meek when they talk about them. Maybe that's a turn on as well. Um, I guess it's different from, I, I just kind of find it kind of boring. I don't like to be bored. I am a very excitable person. I love to entertain. I love to make people laugh. And I love to invoke a real, like, feeling of enlightenment and excitement in people you know what I mean like sometimes I'm just in my car you know with my music on and dancing and having a good time and there are people on the side of the road they're looking like they want to come jump in with me but I love to be able to entertain to a point where you can feel my energy right and so uh, some of those videos I've watched you know they've been very low energy so like, yeah, people enjoy this huh so I guess it doesn't matter what my energy is, what my demeanor is, as long as we're talking about ball busting, right? So, there's that. But, um, yes, guys, you send me your requests, I will answer all of them. Um, now, I have to answer them in a timely manner because there are times I tend to have videos that I've, I've already um, recorded um, for that week. So, I answer my requests and I load them up in order, in the order that I have already recorded them you know um so like i said and i hope i did you good i did a good job for this video on this video for you um maybe there will be a part two i don't know where i could you know i don't know do something more active but you know guys as long as you're enjoying the material i'm happy to make them for you and um you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and um i will see Bye. Remember, however, to like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, guys, and send me your request to the email below. I will get back into you. Okay. Take care, guys. Peace. Bye. story that comes to mind right so 
this happened to the classroom where um, this was an unintentional ball busting, you know, situation. And so these two kids are playing around, right? A guy and a girl, right? And they're besties, the guy and the girl. They're, the two of them are besties, right? And so they're playing around and they're teasing each other. And um, the girl is on top of the table. And he's telling her, let's do the, the, um, the dirty dance move. You jump into my arm and then I'm going to lift you up like this. But then you stand on top of the table instead of running because there was enough space in the, in, the, in the classroom, right? Okay? The teacher had stepped out just for a second. So she says, okay, cool, let's do this, right? And so she attempts to hop off of the table and jump onto him. So it was more like she was doing the, um, you know how the rock and roll singers kind of jump into the crowd and they expect for the, <laughs> for the audience to catch them? Hello. And so she jumps off of the table and attempts to land on him. And instead, the table tilts and she ends up falling toward him but he falls first backwards and when the table tilts that way it kind of pulls her back a little bit and she instead of falling forward her body flips to the back and she falls off of the table and lands head first back of her head on his penis his whole penile area and busts his nuts and at this point he's screaming and the class is laughing they think it's so funny and the two of them are busted teacher walks into the classroom and detention hello what the hell are y'all doing in here <laughs> so i mean he got the exam right some ball busted in just and that was his introduction to ball busting <laughs> and he wanted to do it there was, there was something in there. but anyway those are my stories guys i am in. I hope you enjoy the stories. I hope I finished the story about the woman who was who was stomping on the guy's nuts. It was just interesting to me how much weight that little tiny table could hold. It was like it was a beautiful table too. You know what I mean? But either way, they had them some fun. Homie got himself some but some busted nuts, and she got her some enjoyment. But guys, what I noticed is if you want to see ball busting, and if you haven't considered where you can go and actually have a look at it, some of the most extreme ball busting and some of the most professional bar, ball busting, I would say go to Pornhub. Pornhub has every single thing you can think about. Every single fetish, I'm assuming, you know what I mean? And I haven't looked for all of them, but ball busting is a thing. So go and check out those videos, guys, if you want to get yourself some excitement in ball busting. So they say that I'm a fan.